Hello everyone, I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy. But if you've been watching for any length of time, you know this channel's all about journaling. This is the second segment of this small journal that I'm making to tell the story of my grandchildren's great-grandfather, my dad. Uh, and it, it's a Christmas story, as I'd mentioned. And last time when I tried to use my 1.5 inch uh, circle punch, it was not working. Of course, as soon as I signed off, it did a beautiful job. <laughs> so I don't know why that happened. Uh, cute little, uh, cute little thing that it is. It's only human. So one of the pages inside that we're going to work with um, is to mount this window envelope that I've um, embellished so that we can have this insertable card. I need to push up farther, don't I, so you can see this. And <clears throat> I thought I'd do a couple layers of, um, uh, of paper, but I decided to do something different. Let's, let me move this. I want to use this um, um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Bundled Sage. Now, I'm going to use this uh, plastic bag to save me. Um, they want just a touch of green going all the way around. So I will now do that quickly, and then we'll glue this thing all together. It should work out pretty well. There we go. I'm just using a blender. I could use a bigger blender, but I don't need that much ink. I need more than just on the edge. Well, I love it when you open one that's new. Kind of a pretty green, isn't it? Um, there. I just want to smudge some green here and there along the edge. It's okay if it fades in and out. I just want some color there. And it shows a different technique to be using. So let's get that right on the edge. Okay. It should be okay. Let's see. All right. It's going to go this way because there's the flip we worked on in the first segment. Okay. Put the lid on. Be a good girl. There I go. All right. Then this is going to go on next. And this will go on next. Are the music right side up? Yes. But not the picture. <laughs> All right. Again, I'm going to pull out my favorite art glitter glue. And put it right to the edge as best I can. Uh, this dries very quickly, unlike fabric tack, which I could also use, and that would work fine because this is cardstock, not very thin uh, computer paper. Uh, but uh, that gives you wiggle room. You can actually move um, move what it is you're planning to glue in place. But I think we can eyeball this baby and get it right, theoretically, possibly. It doesn't have to be perfect just has to, I mean, that's the fun of uh, handmade things. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to glue on, oh, let's see. Yes, we'll put glue over the entire back of this window envelope that I embellished. Because um, I don't need another pull. I do, however, need to add some ribbon with which to entice a grandchild to pull it, uh, pull the little um, journal card out of this tuck spot. All right, let's see if we can get this in place. All right, that's pretty quick. So my my. Um, Circle Punch has redeemed itself. We made another page. Um, and uh, I'll join, uh, I hope you'll join me next time. Uh, so we'll see what other pages we can finish. And when do you see the picture of my dad playing the organ at the Christmas party at church? Um, I think he's cute. Um, 
bow tie and all that sort of thing. But anyway, let's call this. Uh, there's nothing left to say, but happy family tree climbing and journal making, everyone. That's a wrap.